Hey guys, so um, I decided to share with you guys some of the skincare products that I have been using or I'm looking into using just to see um, if anyone has any recommendations, if you guys have used them before, what you can uh, say or recommend about the products and I'll show you guys some products that I have also used in the past that I actually really enjoy. I have started using these two, so um, this one is the... Uh, Bosha oil free um, nightly hydration it looks like this and then there's also the oil free daily hydration so they come together um, and yeah sorry I'm kind of sniffling I'm just like really sick today and I apologize for the way I sound but anyways um, so these are meant to hydrate the skin and um, and to minimize the look of your pores. I have bigger pores, so this is actually really beneficial for me. And um, it also is meant to control shine, which is why it's an oil-free daily hydration and nightly hydration. I am not particularly um, super oily, but I, I, I do have combination skin and I'm oily in my T-zone. So um, I found that this really helped control it. The reason why I really like these products is also because they're pretty clean compared to other products at Sephora and um, they're gluten free so there's no um, way that you'd be ingesting gluten with these and your skin is absorbing it so I think that's pretty important especially if you're looking to um, nourish and hydrate your skin and if you have like acne prone skin like me and you're trying to just you know um, get it to a place where you're actually happy with it. So these I have already tried and as you can tell this one's pretty much done so I'm just looking to try something new now but I am still using the nightly hydration. Um, something else that I did use in the past as well is um, a it's called Vino Perfect by uh, Kodali and this is a radiance moisturizer so I also have used their serum before I actually finished the serum completely um, and I really like uh, Kodali or Caudalie as well just because um, their products are pretty clean as well I think most of them are made out of like uh, grapes if I'm not wrong but I'm not 100% sure um, and yeah they're just like they're super good um, I actually really like this I was using it for a while but then when I got the Bosha product I decided to switch over just to try them so it's still relatively full so I might try using it again um, and this one is uh, the moisturizer so you can use it in the morning um, and you can use it on your face as well as your neck and then if you do have their uh, Vino Perfect Serum you can put this on um, you can put this on either alone or you can put it on after you put on your serum so this is another product that I really like um, and then another product I actually have from Bosha is the Tsubaki Glotion. So it's actually an illuminating moisturizer. So it's similar to, sorry, it's not focusing. Give me a sec. It's very blurry. Sorry, guys, I don't know what's going on. Um, but anyways, this is what it looks like. i try to zoom in. Okay, I don't know why it's not zooming in, sorry guys, but um, yeah, so it's an illuminating moisturizer, so it's similar to um, the one that I showed by Tarte the other day, except this bottle is way bigger, and this is also gluten-free. Um, I haven't used this one much, I was actually wondering if anyone else has used it and um, if they had any thoughts about it, um, so it's supposed to be very hydrating and it's supposed to also be um, like... Uh, illuminating for your skin so I think it's supposed to add a little bit of shine um, and you'd put this on like before you put on your uh, foundation so it says it's infused with a deeply hydrating tsubaki oil and um, natural light reflecting pigments for a soft and subtle glow so skin is supposed to be left softer smoother and instantly luminized and you can wear it alone or under makeup so i'm probably going to give this a go i think i literally tried it once or twice so i can't really say whether it was good or not but every other bosha product i've used i loved so um i have a feeling i probably will like this um and none of their products ever broke me out which was a good thing so Hopefully this won't either. I'll keep you guys posted on it though. 
Um, another product that I actually really like is um, the Rainforest of the Sea Mist by Tarte. So this is a um, mist that you can either uh, spray onto your face throughout the day to keep your face fresh, hydrated, and um, keeps your makeup looking good. Or you can also use it as a setting spray. So I've used it as a setting spray. I actually really like it. Um, it also smells really good. I don't know what to compare it to, but it's just like a very fresh, fruity um, scent. And again, it's gluten-free, so that's why I like it. The bottle is pretty big as well. Um, and this I've already used, so this is something that I recommend. And then the last thing that I have is a... Um, actually, two more things, sorry. So this is something that I actually really like. It's by Josie Marin. Um, I actually previously purchased her... Um, self tanner and the reason why i purchased it is um because the products are uh, relatively clean and um i think i'm not sure if it was a limited edition but it was mango scented and it smelled so good and literally like it's like an oil and it comes with a glove and you just like put it on so rather than being a foam it's just an oil but it gives such a beautiful natural um bronze tan and um it's really nice so that's something else that I would probably recommend. I don't have it with me right now, um, but maybe I'll do a video someday showing a before and after. It's really white right now, but uh, the product that I'm going to show you guys today is um, it's called the Divine Drip Honey Butter Balm. So it's just for your body, um, and I'm done showering. It just leaves your body really really soft and smooth and it actually says on the back it says um, it combines two ancient holistic ingredients which is blessed and I'm all for because I am a holistic nutritionist and I love all of the more natural options out there so it's literally made out of honey and 100% pure argan oil so you can't go wrong here definitely gluten free um, and they're just whipped together uh, into a nutrient dense concentrate that creates a protective barrier on the skin to seal in moisture so um, give this a try I really like it I enjoy it um, and it leaves my skin uh, very smooth the last thing I haven't tried so if anyone else has tried it out there let me let me know how you like it if it's good um, but it is by pharmacy and um, and it's called the honey drop um, lightweight moisturizer um, and it's with echinacea and um, honey so for this product I actually did some research just to see if it was actually gluten free but they are um, a clean brand at, Sephor at Sephora wow okay can't talk um, but anyway so online if you check in their FAQs they do mention they say our products are not formally certified gluten free um, or organic however we do use gluten free naturally derived ingredients and our echinacea green envy flowers are grown on organic farms with zero pesticide use um, our echinacea green envy honey is natural and rich in antioxidants um, but it is not vegan so for me i think that's enough for me to know that i can use the product um and it's also um using organic and um holistic ingredients which i love and um on the bottle um on the box sorry it says um it is meant to help moisturize soften and reduce water loss leaving the skin plump and hydrated um releases long lasting moisture to help nourish and soften the skin so i think that this would be a good product i'm um, going into the fall or the winter um and then it says it targets the skin at different levels resulting in increased visible firmness and elasticity um so i'm excited to try this i haven't tried it yet um and honey and echinacea obviously are very powerful and we all know they're very good for you um echinacea is known to help with colds and flus and the immune system um and honey can be very high in antioxidants so i am looking forward to using this product mm -hmm. um i'll keep you guys posted if it's pretty good but if anyone else has used it let me know what you guys think i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions um feel free to just DM me or comment. Bye guys.